One of the nice things about even and odd functions is that integration can sometimes be simplified, especially integrals of odd functions from minus L to plus L. In this video you'll see how and when these simplifications work. Now just a reminder, f is even if f of x and f of minus x are the same, and f is odd if f in of x and f of minus x are the same to a sign. So what does this mean for integrals from minus l to l? First of all, you can always split up an integral from minus l to l in an integral from minus l to zero and an integral from zero to l. And now we are going to rewrite this first integral. Now this first integral can be rewritten as using the substitution u equals minus x, an integral from l to zero. And if you put u equals minus x, then x equals minus u, so we get an f of minus u and a d minus u. Now the d minus u is a minus du, and you can use this minus sign to flip the signs. So we get integral from 0 to l, f of minus u du, always. Now if f now is even, then this f of minus u equals f of u. So in the end, the integral from minus l to 0 is the same as the integral 0 to l f of u du. However, u is only a dummy variable, so the integral from minus l to 0 is the same as the integral from 0 to l, or the integral from minus l to l equals twice the integral from 0 to l, which is sometimes useful. Now, if f is an odd function, again, we have integral from minus l to l fx dx is then integral from 0 to l f of minus u du. But now the f of minus u du equals minus f of u. So if we now add the integrals from minus l to 0 and the integral from 0 to l, we have the integral from 0 to l minus the integral from 0 to l. u is again a dummy variable, just as x, so these integrals are the same, which means that we end up with 0. So the integral of an odd function, whichever it is from minus l to l, is always 0. For example, if we have this dreadful odd function over here, Note that this odd because x squared is odd, so this exponential is odd and the square root is odd. The x cubed is, uh, sorry, uh, those are even and the x cubed is odd, so the total function is odd. Uh, even though of the dreadful function we cannot find an antiderivative explicitly, we know that its integral is zero because we integrate from minus l to l some odd function. So, there we go, done immediately. Now the second example, there we want to integrate an even function from minus l to l, because absolute value of x is even, the cosine is even, so this integral is twice the uh, integral from 0 to l of this even function. And now this simplifies a bit, because we had this annoying absolute value, but now x is positive, so the absolute value of x is just x, so we have to compute this integral over here. And we know how to do this, we can use uh, integration by parts, we integrate the cosine, then we get the sine times some factor times the x between the boundaries, minus, uh, we leave the sine and we take the derivative of the x, which is a 1, times this factor. Uh, this term drops out over here because between the boundaries it is 0, then we have to integrate the sine, or minus the sine, which gives us a cosine times an l over n pi, combined with this constant gives us some mess over there. Uh, between the boundaries, plugging in the boundaries, at l we get cosine and pi, minus lower boundary, at 0 we get 1. So there we have our uh, integral, which was simplified a bit because our function was even. 